Hey, Travis kiddos. Let's get back to our writing. Um, if you already watched the reading and math video, you know that I am wearing my purple for month of the military child, um, which is also my tri suit uh, for my triathlon that would have been this weekend. Um, and as you see, our team is affiliated with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. So we've been raising money for the past four or five months for um, cancer research, uh, blood cancer research, and it benefits all research, um, as well as patient care. Um, so anyway, that's, that's what I'm sporting today. Um, and I, uh, did put my fundraising link into my reading and, uh, math video in case you feel inclined to support that cause. Um, I know we're all strapped in in uncertain times right now, but, um, Cancer research continues, so I'm um, still supporting that. Anyway, uh, so writing. We've been working on the steps to doing something this week, and I have my writing sort of done. I have an opening sentence, I have the steps with my time order words, and I have a closing sentence. Now I added a little picture. <laughs> it's not the greatest picture, but um, I have my pictures of the steps of doing a burpee. Uh, excuse me, I, um, I'm gonna go through now and I'm gonna edit my work. So I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna see what I need to fix or add or um, change. So first, I'm gonna start right here. So this is how you do a burpee. Now, is I notice this is actually the word who, not how. So I'm gonna change that. I have a slightly different color pen so you can see what my edits are. You don't need to do that, but you could use a colored pencil or something else. So I'm just gonna cross it out and write the word how. Right, this is how you do a burpee. And I have a period and first. Oh, but that first is a new word in a new sentence, uh, the first word in a new sentence. So what do I need to do? I need to capitalize it. So you can either, either go over it with your capital like that, or you can cross it out and write it again. So first you bend your knees to put your hands on the floor. Now I'm going to um, leave, I'm gonna actually change your, that's a sight word. So your should be spelled correctly and it is Y-O-U-R. I'm gonna squeeze in my U into there, okay? Now knees, I, we've worked on different ways to make the E sound. So you could choose one of those. We have E blank E, we have E E, we have E A, we have sometimes I E. There are a lot of options for how to make the E sound. Now I'm gonna use um, E E, so N E E S. Now, while if you know how to spell knees, that is not exactly correct, but it is first grade spelling because I'm using the sounds I've learned so far haven't learned the silent K yet. So if you know it, you can fix yours, but I'm gonna leave mine for now because for me, that is what I would know at this point in the year. So, oops, I'm losing my page. First, you bend your knees to put your, oh, another your, let me put that U in, to put your hands on the floor. And I have an O-R-E because that's the sound we're working on this week. It may not be exactly correct, but it is the sound we're working on. So next, jump your feet out, then jump your feet back in. Ooh, I'm missing some capitals and periods in there. So I have a period here, so I need a capital N for next. So I'm gonna fix my N, I'm just gonna go right over it. If you used pencil, you can erase and fix it, so that's easier. So next, jump your, oh, another your, let me put my U in, luckily I had a little bit of space so I could squeeze it in. Your feet, ooh, there I did a nice double E to make the E sound, out, period. Should have one there. So that was my next step. Next, jump your feet out. Then jump your feet back in. So I had a period, I need a capital. Capital T. Uh, and another your. So let me put in my U. 
even though that's not the, um, the way we spelled it with our phonics this week, that is a sight word that we know how to spell, so it should be correct. Then jump your feet back in. Now, back is, you might know that word. That is a CK at the end. If you know your 300 sight words, you know that. So back in, period. Last, uh-oh, missing a capital. Let me fix that. So capital L, last, stand up. Uh-oh, missing a period there. <laughs> that is how, oh, I have another how I need to fix. How you do burpee. Wait a minute, that is how you do burpee? I am missing a word. That's how you do a burpee. Mm. So be, read really carefully when you go through this. Now, if you have all that done and you want to edit a little bit more, you could add to it. So this is how you do a burpee. First, you, put your, you bend your knees to put your hand down. If you notice, I have a different step here. So I have starting standing up. So maybe I want to add that into my writing. So I'm going to do a little arrow and write between the lines because I don't have an eraser to fix all this. Um, and you could do a finished draft with it all laid out nicely too. So I'm going to do a little arrow. Start, capital S, to start my sentence. So start using the A-R-R -R sound. Start standing on both feet. Okay, period. So start standing on both feet. So I just squeezed it in before this sentence. And then first, you bend your knees to put your hands on the floor. Next, jump your feet out. And maybe you want to say into a plank position to show a very specific um, way to jump it out. My plank picture is not the greatest, but I tried. <laughs> so I'm going to add that in before my period. So I'm going to do a little arrow again and write into, I have to write a little bit small because the lines are teeny, into a plank position. Again, I'm using my kid spelling. Oops. So into a plank position. Then jump your feet back in. I think that's okay. Last, stand up. And that is how you do a burpee. Um, so you could even add, if you want to make it harder, do a push-up in your plank. You could add that step in there. You could add a jump at the end. You could add bringing your body all the way to the floor in the plank. So if you want to... Um, enrich your text a little bit more and make it more descriptive, add more details, you can definitely do that. Um, we've worked on adjectives this week, so maybe you have some great adjectives to add in there. Um, you can make your writing your own, but these are kind of some basic steps to help work on the structure and grammar and, um, and the conventions of your writing. So um, I'm not too worried about all of the spelling, but sight words should be spelled correctly and you should be using the phonics skills we've taught so far this year. So work, check for those things. Um, check for capitals and punctuation. Check if there's anywhere you left out any words like I did. Check if you have any details you want to include or even any adjectives. Um, so go ahead, add those into your edit. And then if you want to use that to do a final draft that is nice and neat and has everything that you worked on um, in it, go ahead and do that. Have fun and happy learning.